Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're wondering why I'm recording this one in the inside uh, of my wife's beautiful new 2023 Kia Telluride uh, instead of that big beautiful truck over there, uh, it's because we are doing a, another review on a wireless, um, I'm going to use Apple CarPlay, but it can be Android. I'm just, I know Apple, so I'm going to keep saying Apple, but it works for both. Um, another wireless Apple CarPlay mod, another project like that. If you follow my channel, you know that I actually did a video like this earlier where we actually did a GM factory radio swap to get the wireless. So um, I have a 2020 Trail Boss, which had CarPlay, but not wireless uh, CarPlay. Um, I think 2021, 2022 and newer probably do have that, but you know, the 2019s, the 2020s, uh, maybe the 2021s, I don't know, like you said, you'll know if you don't have it. Um, you know, we, so we did a straight up radio GM swap. There's a company out there that, um, like I'll link it in the description. You can check it out, um, where they will actually send you a, a, a GM radio, uh, it's not like the old days where you had like that um, in the dash where you like pull out a whole radio. It's actually um, underneath the passenger side by their feet. Um, and then you you contact them, you give them your whole like serial number and everything, and they will make it match your vehicle because it has to look, they have to replicate your radio pretty much. Um, I've had that for a year and a half at the time of filming this, and I love it. Uh, it's as if my truck from day one came with wireless Apple CarPlay. All the functionality and features and stuff that you would expect are there. It's been great. Um, it costs a little bit because, you're like I said, you're getting a GM factory radio custom reprogrammed to your truck and everything. So, uh, But, like I said, it just, it just works. And, like I said, it's like it's from the factory. Um now, I was approached to do another review on another wireless Apple CarPlay alternative, which actually has some added features. This can do things that probably Apple doesn't want you to do, like watch YouTube videos in your car, surf the internet, and all that. Like I said, it takes over the screen and does all that cool stuff and gives you that wireless Apple CarPlay feature. Um, I'm not in my truck right now because I tried going, throwing this in and using it. But if you have a truck that already has wireless, a, why would you buy this? And B, it doesn't like it. Um, trying to go double wireless uh, makes this thing glitch out. So the reason why we're in my wife's uh, Telluride here is because, shockingly, this 2023 Telluride does not have wireless Apple CarPlay. So we have an opportunity to actually test this out and use it. So, uh, which is great because this thing is fancy. It's got bigger screens than the one in my truck. So uh, we'll put this through its paces and we'll compare, uh, show you all those added features. Like I said, I'm a little hesitant to recommend something that you could like be very distracted about like watching youtube videos or what surfing the internet while you're driving but you know i see its practicality for if somebody you know drives distances and has to sit and wait in their vehicles for long periods of time in between stops you work out of your vehicle and stuff you know you don't want to sit there and hold on to your phone and watch videos and drain your battery and stuff to be able to uh, use the big nice screen that you paid for i, I like i said if, if i'm in park and just sit in my vehicle why the heck not so uh, but yeah, let's, uh, I'll show you how this thing works, plug it in, show you some of the features and everything and see if it's the product for you. And then of course, links will be in the description for, um, I'll show you that other one. Like I said, if you want to go with the factory style and then I'll have you links for this one, of course, is too. So anyway, let's get into it. Uh, this is truck ownership 101, Telluride edition. Uh, my name is Spencer Elbach. Class is now in session. on the interior of the newly refreshed 2023 Telluride. I absolutely love this thing. Super happy for my wife. Um, this is really cool. Uh, like I said, we'll get the screens and stuff going. But um, what do you get with this purchase? Um, like I said, it's a very small little... It's basically got the technology in it. Like, it's another smartphone, basically. It's a smartphone phone that you will plug into a USB port. Sorry, it's really dark in there. You can't see. But yeah, you plug this into the USB port and this basically acts like the phone that it's looking for since this car is requiring you to have something hardwired into it. So, um, like I said, I think it's got Android, uh, an operating system on it and stuff like that. So, uh, this will then, uh, connect to your phone, I believe via Bluetooth. And then that'll pair to your phone, which you could just keep in your pocket or, or whatever you want to do. Uh, if you got a wireless charging pad or something, you could set it there, but yeah, that'll, 
uh, be the thing that the car is looking for. And then basically it's just relaying back to your phone to get your songs, your contacts for like your phone calls, your navigation and stuff. It'll just do that wireless part for you. So I've already got it plugged in. I've got it synced to my phone. Hopefully it works while I'm recording a video here. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Uh, we'll boot up the wife's car here. So her car, you press it twice instead of a long hold to get all that going. But man, this car is cool. I'm jealous. <laughs> uh, let's see. So we're booting her up. And like I said, this is already plugged in. Um, you can see, you know, like I said, it's got some status lights and things. It's booting up. Okay. Well, you can see it's already going. So this is this, you know, the CarPlay. It's running. It's powered. Uh, this is the start screen, kind of like for all those extra features, right? If you want uh, to do Google, um, there's net. Yeah, he said you can watch Netflix. Uh, like so, there's a Google app. I was playing around uh, watching videos, <laughs> my own YouTube videos on this. That was pretty cool. Uh, it is connected to the Wi-Fi right now um, in my house because I'm in my garage, of course. But you know, like I said, if you had uh, Wi-Fi in your vehicle, you had a hotspot, you know, you could. Uh, use your phone as a hotspot to watch videos on this almost through your phone, which is interesting. Um, but anyway, uh, there's a home, like I said, so this gets you back. So now I'm just kind of on my classic Kia screen, go to the CarPlay. It does this screen. Now, if I want to have it replicate, you know, app, my, you know, Apple CarPlay, my navigation, I want this to be as if, you know, my, my car had wireless Apple CarPlay already. Um, you just press this little button right here. All right, sorry about that. Um, my phone, I was using my phone to record while I was trying to sync to Apple CarPlay, so it cut out my feed. But uh, you can tell I'm using it now uh, at the same time because if you're an Apple person, you know if you see that little color light indicator change, it's the car is actually probably using its microphone to record this. So I'm actually probably, this my audio right now is probably being captured through the car, which is kind of cool. Hopefully it syncs up all right. But yeah, um, yeah, it's got all my classic stuff, the maps, the whatever. Um, this looks just like Apple CarPlay. You know, if I, if I had it plugged in, this is really cool. Um, all kinds of stuff here. And then the Kia logo, um, is something I configured just to get you back to all their bonus stuff. So again, watching the YouTube, uh, Netflix, surfing the web, all that kind of stuff. Like I said, you shouldn't be doing while you're driving. Uh, but it's cool that you have all these features. This is, like I said, this is probably more of an Android based, uh, like I said, I'm all Apple, so I'm kind of limited in that knowledge. But, and then you can just get back to your regular, regular stuff. So, um, yeah, it just, it jumps right after you sync this all up. It all just works great. All right, so overall, like I said, it's basically just another smartphone plugged into the device because this car requires to have one physically plugged in. And then it can mirror uh, the, your actual phone that you want it to uh, through Bluetooth. So you do get that wireless capability. Um, overall, I think it's a, it's a great item. Um, uh, there's, as far as like dongles to give you the wireless Apple CarPlay, it's probably, um, more of a higher end one because it can do, it can surf the web. It's got a, a pretty high end processor on it from, from what I've read in the description. Uh, again, I'll, I'll link everything, uh, if you're interested in it. Um, I, if you're looking for all those extra capabilities, I can see here that it's got like, m you know, micro SD, like as far as like looking at pictures and stuff, photo album and things. If you're doing a lot of work like that and you're trying to, you know, I guess if you're trying to avoid having a laptop in your car all the time and you just got some little things to, you know, like I said, pictures, a little bit of web navigation, watch some movies and stuff like that. This is a pretty, pretty slick system. Um, you know, I think, if you're looking for just the absolute most seamless, I want it to my vehicle to act like it has wireless Apple CarPlay from the factory. I only want to use those wireless features. You know, you're not interested in surfing the web, watching Netflix and stuff through your car. This one is a touch bit clunkier because like I said, there's that Android portion and then it's trying to emulate what your phone would have. So there's kind of that extra screen jumping back and forth. So if you're looking for the absolute most seamless, uh, you want it to be wireless, like from the factory, I would recommend my other video, the wireless solution. Uh, that one, like I said, it's, it's legit. That's exactly what it is. So this one's a little bit of a mirroring process, but uh, for the extra features, capabilities, um, since this car doesn't, have, for this Telluride, uh, this is ul ultimately the best solution for me. So um, I do recommend it in certain circumstances. 
Um, you know, but, uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. This one's kind of interesting. I'm pretty techy and nerdy, so I kind of like some stuff and I'm willing to work through some features. My wife is not tech savvy, uh, nearly as much as I am. She's good. Uh, but, uh, she likes it. She, she does the wireless Apple CarPlay is a perk. She can, her phone is in her purse. She jumps in the car, turns on her phone or turns on her car, drives around, and then she can make phone calls and, uh, use her app navigation, hold the little button and talk to Siri to get some, you know, turn by turn updates and stuff. So, um, she definitely likes it. So, um, yeah, uh, like, and subscribe. I got a lot more content, truck content coming. Uh, this might be the only one, uh, featuring the wife's new car, but, uh, until next time, class dismissed.